What's up, EHP Labs? GokuFlex here. Welcome back to a new video of the series. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about three exercises to help fix shoulder pain. First off, understand that there are a variety of different types of shoulder problems and issues. And if any of these exercises causes you any type of discomfort or pain, then stay away from them. But for me personally, these three exercises has, has helped me a lot in my shoulder mobility and just overall shoulder health. First exercise is hip thrust. Now this exercise looks, I'm gonna be honest, a little weird. But for me personally, um, a lot of shoulder pain happens from other muscles. So it can be caused by a tight chest, a tight lat, a tight rear delt, and a variety of different things because the whole body's connected. But what this hip thrust does is it helps open up your chest and your anterior delt at the same time. So this is how we do it. You're gonna get on the ground, get on your butt, you're gonna make sure when you thrust up, you're pushing through your heels, engaging your hamstrings, squeezing your glutes, and also pinching your shoulder blades as far back as possible, opening up your chest. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze your abs, squeeze everything, and hold it for 30 seconds. Come up. And if you're doing it right, you should feel a good stretch on your anterior delt and your chest. And you want to just, your goal is to get your hips as high as possible. Just hold it for 30 seconds. And again, the key to these exercises is doing them every single day. You're going to find out that it's hard at first. A lot of you are, aren't going to even be able to get your hips up, but you're going to get a little higher, you know, a week later. A week later, you're going to get a little higher. And of course, you're going to be able to get them as high as possible. Do this pre-workout and even post-workout. Second exercise is wall slides. Now, to be honest, a lot of these exercises are goofy looking, but do it, do them correctly, do them consistently, and they will change your life. Even if you don't have shoulder pain, pain even if you don't have shoulder issues, if you're pressing a lot and you're doing a lot of spirit bombs, aka overhead pressing, and you're, you know, your chest is getting tight, your anterior delts is getting tight, it's inevitable for lots of people that have been lifting for a longer period of time that things just tend to tighten up, especially if you don't work cons constantly on your mobility. So for this one, you get your heels against the wall. You're gonna try to keep your entire body as flat to the wall as possible. From here, you're gonna bring your arms up again, touching the wall, and you pretend like you're doing a shoulder press. So you're gonna come up and in. Keep your elbows and hands, arms, in contact with the wall the entire time. What you notice is a lot of people start hyperextending as they come to the top because they have really bad shoulder mobility. Pull your rib cage down, engage your abs, and keep everything flat against the wall. And you're gonna do, come here, do 10 straight up and down. Do nice and slow. And then from here, you're gonna do 10 of these where you throw your arms out at an angle. Instead of up like a shoulder press, you're gonna throw them out like this. So two things I'm focusing on while I'm doing these is one, holding the stretch at the top and two, contracting my abs, almost putting myself in a posterior tilt. As you continue on through your reps, you'll feel less clicking and less clicking. And you'll feel like a nice burn up in your trap trapezius area, but it's a really good one, especially to do pre-workout as like a warm up. Third exercise is a bar hangs. Now, I'm gonna be using rings for this example, but you can also use the barbell. Totally doesn't matter. Come here, and exactly like how it sounds, you're just gonna hang from the bar. And I just felt my neck crack a lot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna relax your entire body and literally just let everything hang. What you'll notice is your shoulders will start falling into place. And you kinda just wanna swing, lean left to right and kind of feel your body. Feel where it's tight. For me, my anterior delts are a little tight, so what I'm doing is I'm tucking my head a little bit more forward, getting that stretch in my anterior delts, and just hanging here. If you can find some kind of bench or some kind of platform to put your feet, what you can also do is do lat stretches using the bar as well. You'll put your legs up on something like this. Tuck your pelvis, engage your glutes, squeeze your abs and you'll lean towards one side, 
squeezing that lat. So let's say I have a tight right lat. I'm gonna shift my hips to that side. I'm squeezing my obliques and abs all on my right side. I'm engaging my core. So I'm gonna pull this bench out a little bit more. You're gonna hang from here. Get your knees up. This platform is honestly a little high, but you engage your abs and just hold it for 30 seconds. You can do the other side as well, if you have a tight left side. And every time I'm breathing, I'm squeezing it down on my left oblique. So those are the three tips, plus one mini tip. The number one key to not having to deal with any of these issues is one, keeping up your, with your mobility and flexibility, and two, proper form when lifting. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha.